Hi, I'm Dwayne Eddy, and this is the Tic Tac Twang guitar. And it's a six string bass guitar, in my case, to replace the Dan Electro that I fought for 50 years on. This is far superior. As my friend Harold Bradley said when he tried it, look, he says you can make chords on it. Which you never could do on a Dano very easily. Where that Tic Tac started was on Rebel Rouser, of all things. A bass player, Buddy Wheeler, had a bass, Fender bass, with a, a powerful amp. It was like my amp, only it was double. And he had a tweeter in it and everything to get that sharp sound. And he played, a, and I played. And he went. That started a whole thing. People heard that record and they, a lot of people asked my producer, Lee Hazelwood, and a lot of people asked me, what's that clicky sound down by the bass? And I said, it's a bass. <laughs> But he didn't have any note. He couldn't get any tone out of the Fender when he was doing that because of that amp and the fact that he picked so hard. So we had an upright bass player for tone who stood there and played the notes and so we'd have bass. But that click thing caught on and they, they started using it in uh, all the sessions in California and in Nashville. In California, a guy named Bill Pittman earned a living for 50 years just doing sessions going. And he was a great guitar player, the same as Harold Bradley was in Nashville. But this is like a Dano on steroids. I can get the Dano sound. Just that's the old Dano sound. But with this, I'll throw a switch and I've got. got uh, even more. And then it can be used in a moody tone, too. You can imagine people talking over that. So this is my 60th anniversary, and uh, the Gretsch has got me beat. And this is their 135th anniversary. Imagine that. That's a long time to be making guitars. <laughs> ¶¶